guys, Kat here, and we are on day 25 of our new Era 30 Day Challenge. So today is all cardio, all body weight, no equipment required, just a little bit of space. Every exercise will be 45 seconds on with 15 seconds rest. During those 15 sec seconds, we'll have a preview box. We can see exactly what the next movement is, as well as a mod box, just in case that move is a little bit too crazy for you today, which is totally understandable. Just make sure you listen to your body because every day is a little bit different. All right, let us get warmed up and let's do this. All right guys, let's start it off by bouncing it out. Feel free to step it out if you need to. And then start bringing those arms out to T and going with some small circles. So really reach with those fingertips. So shoulders really start to feel it. And go the other way. Three, two, one. Nice job. All right, feet a little bit wider than hip width. And we're just gonna go side to side. We're really stretching out that side body, which is gonna feel really nice. Make sure you breathe in this. I like to inhale as I come up to center and then exhale as I reach across. Let's go. One more each side after this. Last one. And nice job, go ahead, shaky, shaky. Let's get some hip rotations going. So bring that knee up and out and around. So getting a little bit of stability here, getting those hips nice and warmed up. Let's go four, three, two, one. Nice job, go ahead, shake it out. Let's go with some butt kickers. Once again, feel free to step it out. If that's best for your body today, every day's a little bit different, which is actually pretty exciting. <laughs> Drive those knees up slightly in front. Go for four, three, two, and one. Nice job, guys. All right, so let's go ahead, hands down on the ground, step it back into a plank position. We're gonna take that left foot to the outside left hand, open up that chest, and then alternate, step back, step up, other side, and reach. So you're really gonna feel a nice opening for those hips. Step. And let's go ahead, we're gonna go one more on the other side. And then plant your right knee down, take your left hand, press that left knee out, straighten out the left arm. Get, think about getting that shoulder away from the ear. Once again, a nice stretch for that hip. Take nice deep breaths. And let's go ahead and we're going to switch sides. Other side, same dealio. Think about keeping the shoulder away from the ear. Really press out. Taking those nice deep breaths so those muscles can relax before the chaos. <laughs> and let's go into a plank position. Press into down dog and pedal the feet out, getting those calves. We'll be using them a lot. Very, very, very much today. Really press those fingertips and palms on the ground. Let's go four, three, two, one. And go ahead, shift forward and drive one knee in individually. Warming up the core. We use it a lot in these cardio movements. So we wanna make sure it's nice, prepared, activated, and ready to go. Let's go for four, three, two, one, and then go ahead, step up, slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time, letting your neck be the last thing to come up, and roll up those shoulders. Yes. All right, let's go ahead, we're gonna go with some jumping jacks. Bring the feet out wide, feel free to tap it. If you want that low impact version, or for some ladies who have had pregnancies, this move might not be quite for you right now. That's okay. So just make sure you listen to that body. Four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, go ahead, shaky, shaky. All right, we're gonna go with some alternating lunges to finish out this warm up. If your body needs a little bit more warming up, go ahead and repeat this, this warm up. As we get older, sometimes we need a little bit more time and that's totally okay. So just make sure you keep on listening to your body. I 
personally usually warm up about 15 minutes before I get into my workout. So, but I know not everyone has that, that time to do. So let's go ahead, one more each side. Last one, go ahead, shake it out, and let's get started. 15 seconds, we have a skater with a forward and back hop. If you don't have room to go forward and back, just hop straight up into place. Bit of stability in here. Remember, you can always tap that back foot just like in the modification if you need to. So, so hop, forward, back. Hop, forward, and back. Landing as soft as you can, just as much as you put on the floor for that impact, just as much as you put on your joints. So we wanna make sure they're nice and protected. Going, guys. Get some glute action in here with this skater. It's much like a curtsy. Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, static lunge, knee in and hop. Ooh, same leg the whole time. This one's gonna be really mean. <laughs> if you have not so great knees, you don't need to, then you don't need to sink down as low. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> okay, so, be in, and hop. And hop. Nice flat back when you do this. You can lean forward. Just make sure that flat back is maintained. Twenty seconds. Last ten. I know that leg is burning, but we are pushing through. Five, four, three, two, done. Okay, we're gonna go right to the other side. <laughs> so we can shake it out a little bit. Okay, get ready guys. Three, two, one. Knee in, down, and hop. This one's gonna be probably more challenging just because our other legs are ready burning. 30 seconds. That's why it's nice to bring your arms with you when your legs get tired, you can get a little bit of extra height with those arms. Hi, Lincoln. See if he joins us today. Almost there. Oh, he's coming. Three, two, and done. Oh, he's decided for the couch. Just gonna watch us. <laughs> Need elbow skips. Some coordination here. Remember, coordination is part of fitness. So, are you supposed to be doing that? <laughs> Alright, so, you need to up the skips. The couch is a scratching post. Thirty seconds. So this is much like high knees. So we get a nice twist, and so your core is really loving it. <laughs> Ten seconds. stabilizing you. Try to keep it right underneath that shoulder. So instead of bringing it here, bring it like here in the middle. Plank jack, up, jump, down, plank jack, up, in, out, in, in. Keep it going, guys. So 
switching up the feet a little bit. That's okay. Okay. So, step up, jump high. This one's fun. Okay, guys, you ready? So, step, step, jump. So really think about height. Step, step, height. Step, step. Bring your arms with you. So you can make this easy. Make it challenging. Step, 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 step. Hop. Ten seconds. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> okay, different types of mountain climbers next. Regular for ten total. 10 twist, 10 wide, which feels awkward. So, let's go. One, two, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10 twist, four, seven, eight, 10 wide. Uh, <laughs> not comfy. Hands under the shoulders.
this. This one's super fun. If you can't get it down right away, if I can do it, you can learn it. Just rewind, try your best. I'm gonna roll back, tuck one leg under. Roll back, tuck. Then I'm gonna pivot, switch, switch. Other leg now. Pivot, switch, switch. Once you get it down, it's actually pretty fun. <laughs> Use your hands if you need to. Take your time. Oh gosh. Oh.
Side shuffle touchdowns. Now, if you can't touch down, um, but with keeping your back flat, just don't sink down as low. You don't have to touch the ground. So, slide. Do squat touchdowns if you don't have room. Oh. A lot of lateral stuff. We're going to do another one after this. Three, two, okay. Oh. Nice job, guys. Side to side, high knee, fast feet. If you can't go laterally, just go into place. Pump the arms, opposite hand if you can. Okay. Bring those knees up. Let's go. It's easy to get tired, not bring them up as high. same thing nearly <laughs> so one two three four sprawl this just allows you to come back up in fighter stance easier I'm alternating two so if someone goes to kick you you can come down come back up We're gonna stretch. If you 
do need to go, please do like, comment, subscribe. All of those things help out my video's algorithm. Do it for the algorithm. Whew. Go ahead, just lay down. <laughs> lay down, arms at your side. Taking those nice, deep breaths of success. Take a moment to be proud of yourself for showing up even though you saw it's like cardio in the title. Be proud that you showed up day 25 after 24 days of craziness. Be proud of yourself for just pushing. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Let's go ahead, bring the right knee and close to the body. Pull, relax your traps. And go ahead, bring that knee to the outside, opening up the hip. Left hand on the left hip, pulling it down to the ground. Let's go ahead, cross it over. Bring it back to center. Whew, and switch. Sparkly. <laughs> so sparkly. Not every workout has to be a long workout. If we push hard, whew, go ahead, bring that knee to the outside, opening up the hip. Right hand to the right hip. Pulling very gently. Go ahead and cross it over that body. Left arm to the left, look over that left shoulder. Getting those glutes. <sighs> Breathe. Go ahead and bring it back to center and down. Nice job. We're gonna roll over onto our tummies. So go ahead, have your elbows right under your shoulders, pressing the palms, fingertips on the ground. Getting the shoulders away from the ears and pressing the hips on the floor. You'll feel that in the low back. Getting nice little sphinx. And then slowly lower hands to the side of you onto the fingertips. So we're going to inhale, come up. Exhale, dip a shoulder and an ear to the ground. Inhale up. Exhale, dip down. So you really feel a nice stretch for that shoulder and that chest. One more each side. Last one. And go ahead, knee back to center. Hands on the chest, press up onto the knees, big toes together, knees out wide. Sit the hips back, walk the hands forward, and relax that neck. Getting your breath back to normal, releasing those inner outer thighs, hips. Getting the low back. Allow yourself to relax deeper into every breath. And go ahead and shift that weight forward and come forward. All right, crisscross applesauce. Let's head into our mini meditation. It only takes about a minute before you go onto your day. If you do need to go, please do like, comment, subscribe. All right, feel free to lay down, palms facing up if you're here with me, nice tall spine. Close those eyes if that feels right for you. Big inhale. And exhale. Big inhale. Exhale. Go with whatever breath feels best for you. As we started our stretch, just taking a moment to be proud of ourselves. So really just soak into this moment where you're dripping sweat. You feel a bit tired, you pushed harder than you thought you could. Whatever it may be, if you're just showing up to this workout, take a moment to really be proud of yourself like you would be proud for a family member, a friend, for showing up for themselves too. 
You did so amazing today and throughout this challenge. Go ahead, one more big inhale. Take a nice moment to really say thank you to your body and to yourself for showing up. And exhale, release any tension you might have left in that body. Slowly open those eyes, clasp the hands in front, pull the shoulders in, big inhale. And exhale, push, 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 push. We are done for today, yay! We did it, you guys did it. We completed day 25 of our new Era 30 Day Challenge. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me, for choosing me as your trainer, for sparkling with me. If you could, please do like the video before you go. Subscribe if you haven't already. And also comment, let me know how you're feeling on day 25, how it was for you. Did you feel loopy at the beginning, at the middle, at the end, through it all, wherever it was? And if you can't think of anything else, you can put a, a porcupine slash hedgehog emoji, whatever you think it is. <laughs> Rather than that, tomorrow is day 26. We have a full body workout, so we strength, cardio, and abs, everything. And yeah, if you want to support my channel, there's a link down in the description to support my channel. Anything and everything is so, so greatly appreciated. And you can also become a member of my channel by clicking join next to the subscribe button. You'll get a bunch of fun perks like these really cute emojis that you can use in our chat. Yay! Okay, I'm done. All right, I will see you guys for day 26.